Hill there, Dranets Tank Top Douche coming at you with another Legends of Room Terror video for you guys today. And today is the day, ladies and gentlemen. Today, the Rise of the Underworlds expansion is here. Not only the expansion with the new champions, but the balance patch of the gods. I'm going to refer to it as that because the balance patch is that has like a billion changes in it. All of this stacked together in one huge patch, and we have so much to mess around with. I'm going to have an entire month in which I'm just going to be brewing constantly, and I've been waiting a month for this to happen, and I just... Uh, it's hard for me to explain how happy I am right now, man, because it's been a long time coming, and I just... I can't wait to just have a blast with the game again. I have uh, so many ideas. I just need more time, really, to uh, actually put them to work. But I already have some very neat decks to share with you guys because I had access to the early access event and I've been playing for like over 14 hours trying out the new champions in various shapes and forms to make sure that I could deliver some solid lists to you guys today. Now the first uh, deck that I'm going to share is not something super fresh or original. In fact, it's pretty much in a way pre-built by Riot as it is the standard approach at the Lurk archetype. But unfortunately, I can't showcase a different approach at uh, Pike that I have thought of because uh, for now, Ripper's Bay is unfortunately uh, bugged. Uh, they're going to fix this soon, hopefully. But basically, it doesn't... So when this card, when you attack, you obliterate the top card of your deck uh, if it doesn't have Lurk, right? So this is meant to enhance your chances of triggering Lurk upon attack by limiting the top card of your deck if it doesn't have Lurk to see if the, the next one does. The problem is, if that were to happen, it actually doesn't trigger anyways because the card is coded wrongly and uh, they have to fix it. So right now, do not play this card because it actually does not work. Hopefully, they do fix that very soon because i find it very crucial as a card if you want to take uh, a champion like pike out of the uh 30 card lurk package archetype if that makes any sense because that's basically what our deck is we have 30 out of our 40 cards being lurk cards and then 10 non lurk cards because that's kind of how lurk goes why did i lead off with lurk well because i love pike i call him the 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 aqua turk you know, in reference to my, my Turkish Pike reveal, which was a huge mess. Check it out, because reasons. But uh, yeah, Pike is a champion that has grown massively on me, man. I Even though I, I said that, you know, Echo was the one that I was looking forward to the most, the thing about Pike is I didn't know much about the character, and uh, like at all, right? And when I saw him and I, I started looking into him and, I, and his card design, his art, his voice lines, everything... I just, I can't get enough of him. Like, I, I, I've been playing more Pike than anything, and I've been absolutely loving it. So I figured it would be nice to lead off uh, a video with the standard deck for Pike, but also hint at the fact that you guys can expect some other outside-the-box sort of Pike decks coming your way soon as well. But uh, they gotta fix this. Riot, please fix this card! I would appreciate it. So let's talk about uh, this deck right here specifically. So like I said, we got 30 Lurk cards. Uh, I am going to explain like my, because this is my own take on the archetype and uh, there are some very key differences. So I'm going to focus more than anything on those because the rest, you know, Lurk is very self-explanatory. Uh, in case you don't know, it's a mechanic that will trigger whenever you attack if the unit is on top of the deck. So you got to play your cards in sequence in a way that you can uh, try to m get the most out of these buffs. You have cards like the Blood Bait and more, more importantly, the uh, where you at the Call of the Pack, which can be used to put a specific Lurker on top of your deck to trigger its Lurk. Right now, there's two uh, units that have a Lurk trigger that goes beyond the standard keyword, and those are the Champions who are Rek'Sai and Pike. So Pike, when he lurks, he transforms into Death From Below, which is an insane card. This card is nuts, man. Absolutely nuts. I, I just absolutely love it. And then we have uh, Rek'Sai, which can uh, basically effectively d duplicate the trigger of a, a lurk per, uh, per turn whenever she is uh, either lurking or attacking herself as we aim to get the level up. So we get that juicy overwhelm, that neat value, and that late game potential 
in that sick ass uh, art as well. So the rest of the deck is comprised of mostly lurk cards, but we have some uh, key things that I've incorporated myself. First of all, you should want to be playing a full set of Bone Schooler. This card allows you to interact and disrupt your opponent and also allows you to really benefit from uh, things such as a leveled up pike or even potentially remove a blocker from a big overwhelm attacker in the late game as well. It's just too useful. It can be used to set up a pike at the top of your deck so you can get his uh, spell the uh the death from below triggered again amongst other things which is really important we have a couple of copies of renegation a couple of copies of siphoning strike these two are also very very key because we are a very aggressive deck uh as a as the lurk archetype works we are forced to attack so we're, we're more aggressive than even some aggro decks even we have less room for uh, playing around things in that sense we we have to dive in every time we can to get the most out of our value which leaves us vulnerable to our opponent's reactive potential and having red negation is really important to disrupt their own disruption and make sure that our strategy you know remains intact this is why i play this card as a two of and I, I really like siphoning strike with pike as well because it can help us level up pike really quickly and if pike is leveled up this card could be a Five mana of Mawamu Shindaru board wipe, which is amazing. So uh, keep that in mind. I really, really like this, and I'm going to be playing it in other spike decks that I spike, in other pike decks that I play with Shirima. We also have a one off of Jawfish. This card can be game winning, but I don't like running more than one copy because there are some uh, problems with this card. And also, a lot of times it's generated with Call the Pack, so you don't really need to run more than it. And we're running a, a full set of the Under Titan. Instead of running the Six Drop Lurk, we're playing this one because it is. Uh, ultimately better in my opinion and that ladies and gentlemen is the deck list right there uh very straightforward uh we also have a full set of pressure varium i believe this is a must because otherwise we run a gas really easily so keep that in mind as well i got some sick gameplay for you guys i think today's gameplay is really really uh neat i'm just recording an entire session i didn't i didn't take any games out of it or anything i just slapped in everything uh, into one video and i i think the match of diversity and the overall games was pretty good quality and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it as much as I did playing it. And hopefully you guys are excited for the new expansion as much as I am because I'm just over the moon, man. I can't wait to try out all the other new things. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to stop talking and I'm going to let you guys enjoy the matches. And that's basically what I say. What I got to say? Uh, I got to speak slower. I just don't want my intro to be super fast or super long. Right? I can't even talk, man. Love you. Have a good one. Enjoy the matches. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's free. Free it's good. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, let's lurk against another lurk, but they're actually not playing Rek'Sai, which is interesting. Oh, I like this music already. Spooky, spooky, spooky. I'm going to drop uh, the Call of the Pack uh, because I want to keep Pike alongside one of the Call of the Packs here. In this matchup, uh, which tends to be more... I mean, it depends because I don't, I don't know exactly what my opponent is playing. Because, I mean, I have a good idea, right? But they're not playing Rek'Sai, so... One of the key things with this deck is to find your one-drops. We attack, and we lurk! Because we have 30 lurk cards! So the odds are definitely in our favor. <laughs> As we get the hit off there. And we draw into another lurky boy. We don't necessarily need to call the pack here with this. He actually misses his own lurk. <laughs> uh, feels bad, man. Um, what are we gonna do here? I'm thinking about playing this this Ursai color, but at the same time, I get bloody, get paid. I want to trigger Pike immediately. Let's see if I get some low cost. There we go. Nice. None of these can block my my Cersei calling by putting Pike at the top of my deck. I get to trigger his ability. The lurk again. And you guys can see the, the, the like, you can actually see Pike, but in case you're wondering, the opponent cannot see him. It's a secret. Why? Why do you... Lazy Donna! 
Lazy Dota, why are you being lazy? Uh, why did you block my vulnerable unit? Doesn't make much sense. You guys can see here we go. Death from below. This spell is nuts. I wish I remembered the Turkish version of it. All right. Let's see. I do want to play this. The reason why is because I get to trigger Lurk on the turn in which I don't have the attack token, so I'm definitely getting the upper hand in exchanges here. And he doesn't want to trade into this into this piranha with this uh, Cersei collar, which is fantastic for us because right now he's, uh, he's so far behind. <laughs> That's why I should have blocked. He has enough power on the uh, hatchling to. I wonder why he didn't attack with it. I'm gonna play Shackling. Is that Shackling or Shark Shackling? <laughs> Shack. Shaquille O'Neal, the fish. All right. May as well block, perfect damage. Now we're gonna play the Zersai Color. And um what it what one of these I, I wanna take one of these lurkers, right? I guess the the swarm makes sense. Because I'll be able to uh, set off an attack next turn. And I definitely do wanna go for death from below here. Get the boy inside. All right, lazy donut. I'm coming for you. Ah, 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 ah. I should have blocked with Pike, actually. I made a mistake. I should have blocked with Pike. I mean, I, I don't want to take any damage. Oh, anyways. <laughs> I just realized we're lethal. All part of the plan. Gotcha. You get yours. I like the I like the line with he says uh what what is it? Cause I, I've been playing uh, quite a bit in the in the early access, testing this out. Uh it's the one that they put in the video. It's like more people on the list! No, off the list! More on it! I am, I am awful. Like, I actually have no pike voice. I can't go that deep. But that is my favorite pike line. Round two. Okay. See, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I, I don't believe in Echo outside of Shurima because I don't believe there's enough predicts to level up Echo consistently in any other deck that's not Shurima. And Echo is not good as a as a four value draw engine. Um, we have double Pike here, but I actually want to mulligan them away because I'd rather because I'd rather pull them off. Like I'd rather lurk into them and enhance my chances of doing so. So we're gonna mulligan away Pike, which may seem a little bit weird, but. It is how it'd be. I'm gonna go with you. I mean, yeah. So I could play the uh, the Redfin Hammer Snout. I definitely wanna curve out. The question is, do I wanna play? No, I wanna preserve the, the Snap Jaw Swarm for later. But this, this Vulnerable is really important, so I'm actually gonna go for it. We get to lurk anyways. Preserving this. Is pretty cool. Pass. Now we're playing the, the hammer snout because this sort of deck struggles dealing with spread out board states like this. Silent as death. Alright. 
Ah, oh, fuck. That's annoying. We, 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 I, I was, I was really close to going for this, but... We missed out on quite a bit of damage there. That's pretty important because we are on a race here. I'm gonna play your boy Titan. As the grand draw. I have a siphoning strike. I'm gonna play a Titan. Even though I don't get to play Siphoning Strike here, I believe if he plays something like Karma, uh, he has to block into me, otherwise I just take him out. I do want to play Bloodbait this time around. It's too late for you. You cannot escape. Yeah, he has to block it then, no matter what. He may have a, a Mystic Shot. Yeah, but he's like... He's struggling to keep up with us. And now we're going to be able to play the uh, the Snap Jaw. I would like to guarantee... Do, do I need to draw into any of my champions at this point? I don't think I do. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I have a total of 10 mana, which means I can do this. Okay, that's pretty tempting, but I want to do... Honestly, just playing this thing is more tempting in general. He must have like a, a Mystic Shot or something. And I don't want to lose my unit to, to Echo. He can draw if you want. Because I have the Jawfish. So if he for some reason manages to survive, uh, like he could ping down my, my Surge of here, right? But the plan the plan is to play the, the Jawfish next turn. Or, okay, never mind. I kind of just want to attack him. Even though Jawfish... Jawfish could be pretty good. Alright, so what if I go for the Jawfish immediately? It's impossible for, for him to counter it. And if he, any fast piece spell that he may have, he already has anyways. I'd rather hold on to it for later. I still have the ability to attack him again with Snap Jaw Swarm. I think I could I could get more value out of this. I'm trying to think like there there are ways I could lose. Like th there's a lot of stuff that he could have. You made choices. But because he's playing Echo and not Ezreal, for example, as long as I'm always able to answer Karma, I'll be fine. He needs a Concussive Pump or a Will of Ionia. Newly buffed. We get the hit off on, on him though with the Titan! I'm trying to mimic uh, the, the girl's voice. I can play this in the so I can snap Jaws. Looks like I'm ready. Bye bye. Well, bye bye to you. Because the piranhas are gonna get him. We're at Safety Strike! Unless he has a jury rig. Get him! Ah! Oh, nice! No paradical! I cry for 10. Round 3. And ladies and gentlemen, we got a mirror match. Pike is incredibly important for the mirror, so I will not be moving anybody uh, Pike in this one. We have Rek'Sai with Call the Pack, though, and that's very tempting. I honestly like pretty much everything about this hand. Ah, 
Ah, uh, we do not get the, uh, the Lurk, which is unfortunate. But we have Rek'Sai, so... Well, let's see if he gets it. Well, he does commit a predict, so now he will get it. coming. We get to catch up. Trade all the one drops. Get our Rek Sai a little bit thicker, a little bit meaner. And now we got double Haver Scout. Back and trade these. Like, I'll, I'll gladly trade both of these. I'm actually going to commit Rek'Sai because I have the hammer snout. Now I can target this. Hopefully it's, a, it's at least some card draw. A siphoning strike. Yeah, we're getting really unlucky with these pulls. Really unlucky. I can react to this bone screw with my own. <laughs> predict. We can play the Titan again. We can counter the uh I 
just, I just hope he doesn't have a... Uh, like, if he has Pike in his hand, then we're... We're dead. I need this... I need this connect. Oh! Oh, baby! That's huge. Alright, he's trading. We still have the counter for Pike. I could play this, but there's no point. Yeah, strike him now that we can. Yeah, and then we gotta hope that he doesn't have another. I mean, he can't play Rek'Sai now. That's the thing. Okay, 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 we have a plan, we have a plan, we have a plan. We have a plan. We have a plan, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna capitalize on the mini hatchling. On the mini Rek'Sai. We know he has another unit. Let's get it! There's Pike! It's a bit late of the party, man. Yes. Oh my, we'll move. Chin that up! Got him! Ha 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 ha! Woo! Oh man, it feels like we, we got really unlucky that game. But then pulling the overwhelm one, I mean, that was, that was really clutch, right? But god damn. It was a bit of a frustrating game. Because our opponents just basically, they lurked better than we did. They kept drawing Rek'Sai. Like, I don't know how they, they, they just kept pulling Rek'Sai out. <laughs> I was like, God, man, I, I want Rek'Sai too. And Pike would have been nice as well. Like, Pike is really important in, in, in those mirrors, but... Uh, we saw it now. Like, having the vulnerable one in the back. Oof. That was, that was so clutch. <laughs> Alright, let's go for that one. Super Masta is actually not playing any, any of the new champions. And they're playing Braum and Trundle. Maybe this could be a, a Yeti deck. Wouldn't be too shocking. In general, we want to like mulligan away Rek'Sai because we want to be able to pull her. Bone Skewer can be nice. But honestly, uh, when you have a hand like this, just mulligan everything. Because you want to find a one drop. Finding a one-drop lurk is important. We uh, we did not get it, unfortunately, but it is it is what it is. We see through all. best to remove that immediately and we're gonna return the right side to the top because we get two lurk triggers off of that even though it would be nice to have pike as well Let us get going. Never turn your back on the sea. 
I'm gonna play Pike because if you want to train the Pike and help me level him up, then I'd appreciate that, Brom. That'd be nice. Thank you, Brom. He gets the Poro, but we get the the progression towards Pike level up, which can be insane. And there's a single combat. Um, I'm actually oh, okay. am I okay with this? I'm okay with this, right? Yeah, just like that, we got 8 out of 15. Uh, I like that. I may just want to dive my Rek'Sai into that, but how dangerous is that? I mean, what could he have? Because Pike is a little bit awkward here. I'd like to empower Pike a little bit. So this is tricky. Have a troll chant. Yeah. Which prevents him from leveling up. I love that rat of negation. I fucking love it. It grants, right? Yeah, that, that Braum is dangerous. So I'm gonna go for the siphoning strike. We have the Jawfish that was created by Call the Pack here. We can use that to just like completely obliterate our opponent's board. Depends on what they do though. If they go for an Avalanche, that is fine. I'm not gonna be using my, my Rat of Negation on this. Oh my god, that thick! Okay, so that's two. Actually, yeah, I can't take him out like this.
So he's actually able to to take out my pike, but but I, I attack with this first so because he can block it with this. But then, yeah, the problem is like normally you want to attack with pike on the left, right? But we have lethal anyways, and uh, we want to make it so that you know we actually get a clean clear with pike. But pike dies. I cry every time. We knock him out anyways. Fucking Nautilus, man! I forgot how thick Nautilus was. I guess Rek'Sai does not really speak upon victory. All right, so now we face a more standard deck. Overwhelm, this is a good test. I think Pike will be very important here, so I'm gonna mulligan him away. I'm gonna keep him, sorry, and I'm gonna mulligan away everything else. In hopes for finding a bit of an earlier curve, we do find the uh, Hatchling, which is neat. I like the Siphoning Strike as well, but we gotta keep in mind that Three Sisters is a thing here. Drop the Hatchling. Yes, we get the Lurk. Beautiful. We're gonna play the Preservarium. Make use of the lack of momentum from our opponent and uh, and focus on on doing our thing. I think. Uh, Gotta find a gift for an action, right, Arda? Yeah, that's a bit unfortunate. Not much we can do there. That's right. Run! Oh, he just ta okay. Well, he's gonna regret that. Chant, he could have many things, but we're trying to get a good hit off on him here. Alright. Renekton! I found something special for you! If it bleeds, it's special enough! We kinda have to pass here. We got, we got some unfortunate pulls, like some very uh, expensive ones here. I'm gonna go for Pike's uh, death from below. Take away some power from his hit. As he has a three sisters. seen two troll chants out of him. You will die this day, Pike. Wouldn't be my first time. Can you hear him? Time's rising. is pretty brutal. I'm gonna play the Doombreaker. No mercy, no surrender.
right, we gotta play the uh, the jawfish. Coming clutch, man. Sands beneath me and winds behind me. I'm gonna force him to trade into this. I have, I have, I have five. I don't have twelve mana. I gotta, I gotta make sure that I, I'm, I don't succumb to something like that. But what if he, what if he frostbites me and then he plays a? No, I gotta, I still gotta play this. We gotta force the trade. Removing our vulnerable unit. This is last red ecton. Unless if he has if he has a ruthless predator, he still doesn't kill me. I still survive by one. I still survive by one if he has a ruthless predator. But if he has an exhaust. We trade. We trade, ladies and gentlemen. And now we got the Under Titan! But I think I gotta play this one. Okay, so what if, what if he has. He needs like double flash freeze. I believe in this spell shield. I believe in the spell shield. Oh, oh my god, dude, he had ice sharp. Oh, oh, clutch as they come, baby. Oh, oh my god, I was so tight. <laughs>